Hello everyone, it's Alex. Today I'm going to show you uh, two new features that I just implemented in Quake 2.1 beta. And of course they are going to be available as soon as this uh, 2.1 release arrives publicly. But if you wanted to play with them at this moment, just go to www.quickshare.com slash betas. So uh, the first one that I'm going to show you is uh, what we call a scroll view or scroll objects and uh, what it does is allow you to scroll <laughs> objects like that, like the, this group here so when and, and you have all this bouncing effect uh, it's 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 a pretty simple feature L let's check how it works so here I am uh, in Photoshop and as you can see I have this project here it's a project for the iPad it's a, simply a background with three different images uh, and what I did here the first thing was to create a group so pretty much select all the images come in here and say create a group and this is the group that I just created it's called CSI and these are the, the members of this group and the next thing that I did was to come here in the interactions and there's the last button here it's called scroll object and I'm gonna open here because it's just done and an add a name for for the, the scroll set uh, to the group the CSI group instead of the layer and here there's there are a few options uh, for this particular example I'm gonna just use the page one meaning that the object is gonna be able to uh, use the height of the page to to play but I, I could just, uh, just uh, select the object here I don't want any scroll bar for this project so I'm gonna hide it uh, I don't want a white background so I'm gonna leave as is and I'm just gonna disable the vertical movement because as you can see I'm just uh, going to the, the, the to the horizontal movement. If I enable this, what does it mean is users are going to be able to move the, the, uh, the, this group uh, around. So let, let's start with, without that and, and see how it works. So just create and when I publish it I'm going to be able to see what happened in our... so it's this is the, the new one so I can drag as I mentioned but I'm able also to to move it to the vertical and this is something that I do not want so all I have to do is to come back here and say um, let's disable the vertical move publish again and when it's done I come here now and now I cannot move vertically just horizontally so this is a uh, a simple project. Let me show you another one. And for this one here, I am going to create. I'm going to create a written tutorial because uh, it has some tricks. But the beauty here is, uh, it's too small. I'm going to zoom the. So you can see now that you are able to have a. Uh, full paragraph or a full story and you can uh, you know play with that with, with all the movements and it's, it's a nice feature if you wanted to create for example a magazine or, or something uh, with, uh, that requires more text so let's see it in Photoshop I'm gonna open this project here and again I am gonna write a tutorial for that so this is my project again I have a few uh, layers here but the most important one is this one that I'm calling text that test to with this text in Portuguese uh, and the way I did it was instead of just write all the text I came here and I used the ability from Photoshop to create a paragraph you want to do so all you have to do is before to start to write to write your text just select a, a full area let me show you quickly how to do that I could come here and say uh, instead of just click and write text it's not what I want what I do want here let me delete this this 
a layer here and I, I would come here and, and click the text and drag around so this way I'm creating a paragraph and this would be the place for my text so I don't I do not need it uh, again what I need here is just this text area so let me show you a new feature the, the, this feature is uh, here in under the replacement and it's a new icon it's called text replacement and what it does simply is to you select the text and when you create and click the the text replacement it brings this window to you and basically what it's gonna do is just render this layer as a text as if you are using quick for a while all text layers are exported as images because image provide better control but if you need just text you can use it now just be careful because Corona does not offer yet so many uh, options to configure your text like justification or spacing it's a pretty basic whatever you write it's gonna be render in just one way but again for this particular case this is a, is a nice feature to have so I'm gonna use the system font and I'm I'm leaving the, the offset options here as is so I'm gonna create it and now what I'm gonna do again is to use the new scroll feature and have it done around and in our case here oops I have to open you see that I'm using the layer text texto uh, as my layer instead of a group and in our case I, I'm telling that this is a paragraph and this makes all difference because it, it will allow me to to play a few tricks with that so but again let, let's play let me start here using this as as page okay I'm gonna create it let's forget about the other option now and when I publish it all right so I have it in, in Corona uh, now because I set it to full page as you can see I can drag my uh, I scroll in fact my text all around the the height of the page and this is something that I do not need uh, so let me come back here what I'm gonna do now here is to use the object option I clean up my mask file I'm gonna talk about the mask file in a while but uh, if I create this now and publish you can see that you are able to drag but you cannot go to the end of the the paragraph let me zoom in and the reason for that is because you it's set to to, to have the maximum uh, uh, height of the object so you cannot do many things here so in order to fix that we go back to Photoshop and we select the paragraph but more than that we have to select the paragraph and use a mask file and let me point to a mask file here uh, I have a PNG file here someplace okay let me create it and I'm gonna show you in a while how what's this mask file and how to create it here we go now that we have a mask we can play uh, and if you can see although the text is going up to the, the, the full page the mask hides this and the way you do the mask is let me open Photoshop again so my mask file as you can see is a black and white file everything in white means uh, it's a visible area everything in black means it's a hidden area so when I project this using the mask option on top of my layer uh, it tells uh, Corona to do just uh, show in our case the text in this white area and everything outside the, the white area is, is going to be hidden so this is, is, is the mask thing so uh, this is the new the, these are the two new features so export text, text and scroll errors uh, and hopefully are gonna, it, both of them are going to be used uh, in your future projects
Thank you very much. Bye-bye.